This mod is rated D for these nuts. What? So hey, how's it going everyone? The Sham here and today I'm going to be doing one more reaction and I wanted to do this reaction on Wednesday but obviously like I was late for it and I forgot to put it in my discussion which was what, more, what were my thoughts and obviously if you see from the background, it's Smash. And obviously like when the reveal came out on Tuesday, I was freaking out and obviously like if you didn't see the video then we'll check out the video right now. So let me not waste any more time, and let's check out this final trailer for the final character. And here's the character that they showed. Obviously, like I wanted to record my reaction so bad, but I'm sorry. Like I'll, I'll let you know how I felt when I first saw it. But yeah, we're going back to like the first, the first trailer when they were showcasing it. <laughs> it was literally um the squid the inkling was like literally like um, looking at it <laughs> and it's funny how like they all got turned into statues after um, literally looking at the smash ball it's silent like look at that and then we see Mario <laughs> which I can't believe from like the the news that Chris Pratt is gonna play Mario. <laughs> I'm definitely excited for that. There we go. Like I didn't expect it until like literally I saw the light. Like when I saw that, that, I was like, oh my gosh, it's Sora! And so many people were like, it's probably gonna be Waluigi. <laughs> but this was awesome. Like, just listen to this. It's like the invocation. This was just majestic. Seeing his, like the whole many people that were waiting for him, they finally got their request of getting him in the game. Let's go. Ah oh, yeah, let's go now. Sora is finally here. And I'm excited to play Sora when he comes out in October 18th. I mean, look at this. Like, that's gonna be a broken move if you know how to use it. Also, the fireball. And obviously, the reference to Kingdom, Kingdom Hearts. The stage looked amazing. Like, look at that. Look at that quality. Look at that. And then the final smash was so good. I was like, oh my goodness. This is gonna be a, a freaking awesome awesome time to play Sora and you can't end it off without him against Sephiroth and I love that that every time you defeat an opponent it's gonna be a slow motion action yeah and here comes all the references oh yeah and that skin also looks sick Are you hearing this? Yes, sir! Just wait for it. Kingdom Hearts. Oh, man. 
like when I first saw the trailer, I was like literally freaking. I was like, oh my gosh, this this character is finally being in it. Cause like obviously like um Monday, there was a whole bunch of things like theories of who they expect that the next character would be. Could it be Sora? Could it be um Phoenix Wright? Can it be Waluigi as the final character? Nobody knew who it was, and they were giving those guesses. And obviously, like, they were giving credible, like, um, like facts as to why they, they could be in it. And obviously, like, Sora, once they announced Sora, a lot of people started going in storm on Twitter. They're like, Sora's finally here. And I'm excited to play as Sora when he comes out, which is going to be October 18th. And just that ending, like, you got to listen to that ending again. Wait, hold on. Let me go back again, but this time full volume, so you could experience that whole sound. And we'll probably do the after Sephiroth, like right here. Yeah, like right here. I mean, just listen to it. It literally sounds like you're watching a movie, and this is already the. We're already going to like the end credits. It already sounds like that. Look at that. And this, to finish it off. Oh my gosh, it sounds like a movie. Woof! It already sounded like a movie when I freaking heard this beat drop. Or when I heard it drop. Man, I'm very excited. But like, obviously, like, I still think Sac... Sa um, what's it called? I still think Sakurai for giving us this game. Because I, one, I actually thought there wasn't going to be like a game that had a bunch of characters like this. Like I would expect it, like how they did with the 3DS and the Wii U, the Brawl and Melee. Like, I thought it was going to be, like, short amount of characters, like, a good amount. But I never expected that they would go as far as to creating this, which is Ultimate, and giving us so many characters from so many DLCs that some of us didn't expect to some that we did expect. There were surprises. There were characters that people wanted for so long, and now it's actually a reality. And this one is one character that a lot of people were waiting for, and now it's finally canon. And he's finally in the game. Also, Doom Guy, which is gonna be a me costume, but you could still think of it as still in the game. I mean, they made a, a Cuphead and a Sans um, costume for the me, and yet they still feel like they actually are in the game. So, yeah. But like the last thing that I wanted to point out was obviously like since they did like a final update for Mario Maker, uh, will it be possible that we might get a final update for Smash? And that one being like a, a new mode. Because I remember that they made like a, an update to like Smash where they added like the custom build your own place. Where you could fight and a lot of people took it by storm. And creating their own stages. But like they also added the home run contest. And obviously like here's my um, take that I kind of want to see in this game before it's literally done and over with. And that's uh, break the targets. Because like we have a whole bunch of characters. And I want to see like what each break the target will be for each one of them. Because it was fun when I was playing that mode in Melee. And I still have memories to it to this day. And I kind of want to see it here. And I want to see how it goes. Like obviously we are not going to get a story mode. It's already late in the, in the years that this game has been living. But if we get that as a final surprise or we get anything as a final surprise for us as a thank you for playing this game and buying it, then I don't know what I'm going to say, but except thank you. Thank you for all the memories that you gave, Mr. Sakurai. You've really given us a lot. You've given us a project that was actually good and amazing. Not like one that's like, it's just the standard smash with... A few amount of characters but you went all out in this one and started getting a bunch from all the games to become one 
and that's what I'm excited for, especially for Sora's um, introduction into the roster. But yeah, but like I said, that'll be it for this video. So leave your comments down of how did you feel about this trailer if you haven't seen it. And if you have seen it, how do you feel about Sora? And what character did you guess before Sora got introduced to us on Tuesday? Because here was my thought. It was either Sora or what's it called, Waluigi, after watching the TikToks and the Twitters and the videos that we're talking about, like, which one is likely to come. But, yeah. But, like I said, that'll be it for this video. So, stay tuned for more memes, reactions, discussions like this and other ones. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the gaming channel that I have and check it out. I might play some Smash Ultimate on my gaming channel. Hopefully soon. Maybe when Sora's out and then I'm going to do like a like a tournament between me against all the DLC fighters. I don't know. Stay tuned for that. And yeah. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. Comment. Share. You know what to do. Um, and I'll see you all in the next one. Laters.